Hello, everybody. I guess here's a shallow question. Um, but I guess this is a really true question, too. Why do I attract enemies, you know? Why do we attract haters? And that's a lifelong question yet to ask me, you know what I'm saying? And some can drill into, like, I don't know, self-depreciation, self, not intentionally, but it's like, I ain't, you know, I don't cause nothing to nobody. I don't start nothing with nobody, you know what I'm saying? And I do get angry if I'm, you know, disrespected, you know? And that's something that, this is a lifelong question. It's a shallow question, but a real question, down to earth question, you know? Why do I attract enemies and haters and stuff, you know? Actually, ironically, I asked this to a fellow. We have a colorful conversation with the cab driver, uh, roughly a month ago. But like, you know, he's also just found that, you know, he's also an artist and producer himself. We was talking like that's part, that's part of the game, you know. Sometimes life itself, you just people don't like who you are, you know. Saying, so, you know, especially being a recording artist, you know, and it's kind of conflicting, you know. You met all kind of individuals, environments, and stuff, and a lot of people. I think not not towards my, not against myself here, but just that you keeping it real. You being you know you being authentic. You being genuine. People seem to hate that. You know where I'm from. People have to fake it and make it. Put on masks. You know, and I think I taught them to a level degree. I do think it is like. I met all kind of enemies, you know what I'm saying? Or traitors and so forth, haters and stuff, you know? And, um, and also I was talking about, fig- <sighs> sad as I grew up in a, in a semi Baptist household, or so, and I remember, like, growing up, unfortunately, I was in the church or so, growing up. And, you know, I'm an atheist now, but, I was taught love and forgive your enemies. I would never love forgive those who potentially, you know, burn a bridge. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand how can you love those who potentially hurt you. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, like, like they say, fool me once. That's, I said, that, then that, and I'm sorry. Fool me twice, then you're sorry. Then after that, that's a choice to betray those who believe in you and trust in you. You know what I'm saying? I hate liars. I hate dishonest people. You know what I'm saying? And I try to live a modest and decent life. You know what I'm saying? I guess in this broadcast that why you sound so shallow? Usually you talk all this deep stuff. And I do ask this question myself. Why do I attract enemies? Haters or so for you know? And I was told, ironically, uh, this is what I was looking up on Winston Wu Happier, uh, Happier Broad website. Sometimes it ain't just about, you know, you and I or us or we. So, you know, it's who you are, you know, from the inside that how your energy re- resonate and radiate, you know. I was trying to be modest, upfront, truthful, you know what I'm saying? And that's also against my core nature, too. I hate liars. I hate dishonest people and all that, you know. I guess, like they say, opposites attract you. So it, it, it does baffle me growing up, you know. And that's why I stayed myself because it's easy to be around evil, corrupted people and all that. It make you come corrupt and twisted and bitter. And for last couple of months, I mean, I, I kind of went bitter and spiteful and hateful because, well, I've been done wrong by the closest people that I thought I could trust, you know, so it doesn't matter if it's personal or business, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've grown de- socially detached from people, and I just stay in my shell sometimes because, well, I'm surprised I ain't been corrupted this long, you know what I'm saying? And I ask myself, too, like, how come I ain't went completely evil? You know what I'm saying? Especially, like, you're wrong with toxic environment, toxic people, you know what I'm saying? Or special I'm from is a very toxic environment, you know? It's easy to be corrupted, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to go evil. It's easy to go to prison, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to do the wrong thing, you know? And 
I guess you can call that free will choices, you know. You know, and I struggle with that that myself as choices, you know, especially growing up where, you know, you're forced to, you know, make mature decisions at such a young age, you know, not knowing there's lifelong consequences and impacts, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, my parents were disabled, and I feel like it's selfish of them to a degree, major degree to have me, you know, have me, you know, I guess still be alive. So, born with my, my own, you know, so, and just and I was forced to be a caretaker sometimes. But, now I know I got a little off tracker. So, back to what I was saying, though, know, I do want to do sometimes I try aids, you know. You can already sense and smell the environment or from off the people, off the vibes. They don't genuinely don't like me. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, I'm not done with anything. I ain't starting none. You know what I'm saying? I ain't giving them no issues or anything. I just, you could sense that, you know. Or do, do humans have some type of superpowers of senses, you know what I'm saying? Or foresight or hindsight. You can call me what you want, you can laugh me all you want, but, you know, I was thinking, do humans have superpowers? Like, how Spider-Man got spider senses and stuff like that. Like, he can detect all kind of, you know, what comes his way and all that. You know, whatever that's true or not, you know. I feel like I got kind of senses myself, like, but the problem my senses is very delayed. It's almost like, It takes a long time for it to like start to click in and click all together, you know. Shell as it sounds, you know. And I do think about all these factors, why do I attract enemies, you know, but sometimes it ain't about, you know, us or myself and you and I and all that. Or even all together. You know, you try eight haters, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> ironically being the music business, that's all we attract is straight up haters, you know what I'm saying? Rivals and haters and stuff, you know. And I guess this, it goes back to this, this, the story and you know, all that. Y'all is gonna need rivals and haters. If you ain't got haters, something is wrong. <laughs> and that's cox. And it's big contradiction of itself. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, I read comments. I get hateful comments and stuff. Ignorant comments, spiteful comments. Also, you know, video response. Time after time in a long time. And especially when I did make the videos don't they single mothers, I was getting all kind of hateful comments, you know. And some people just don't like you because of who you are, what you represent, you know what I'm saying? And even I kind of admit this too, of what you say, selling out, you know what I'm saying? But I realized why I sell out, and I struggle with this internally. But I understand in my fairies why people are selling out, you know what I'm saying? People just get tired. Of being harassed and disrespected, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they also gotta think about themselves and their families and stuff. And, and I do think about all these different factors in mind, you know? So, and, and, and it sucks. But see, I take the time out to understand and listen to people because also being a recording, I was always like, it kind of like forces me to be understanding and sensitive and listen, you know? You just gotta listen, you know? And that's what I think that what it is. A lot of people just don't genuinely listen or care what the other perspective is outside of oneself, you know. And it took me years. Like I have, I don't want to share too much of this, but I do have a comprehension and learning disability. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And I ain't gonna discuss in great detail because people are jerks and douchebags. Just being modest, just being real. But anyways, it won't be long of a story. Why do we attract enemies? Why do I attract enemies? Why do you attract enemies? By yours truly, Martel. <laughs>